Hey everyone, 10 Outdoors 9. We're going to run a simple penetration test with some CCI 22 long rifle ammo and not just one, but four different options. Let's zoom back in and give you a quick overview of each. First is the segmented hollow point, 1640 feet per second advertised. That is a 32 grain. Moving over to the velocitor, 40 grain at 1435 feet per second. That's a hollow point. Number three is the Mini Mag, 36 grain hollow point at 1260. And finally, number four, the Mini Mag, 40 grain solid copper plated round nose at 1235. I'm going to be using the Ruger 1022 and hoping to put four consecutive accurate shots into this block of clear ballistics gel. This is 16 by 6 by 6. I'll be set up at 20 yards and just realized a moment ago. I really can't see the front of the block because it's clear. So hope I don't overlap any of my shots. And the camera for you is going to be positioned right here on the side for each of those. I brought this indoors because I have so much more control over my lighting. It's really interesting at a glance how each one of these reacted to the block. We'll take a second and have a quick overview of each shot. First was the 32 grain segmented. This is designed to break into three equal or pretty much equal pieces and it did just that. I think this was the most impressive display of energy, you know, if you can say that for a 22 among the four when it hit this block. The expansion or segmentation started about one inch in. We have one segment that went out to six inches, one exited the block at five and a half, and the other one's down here at about four. But when you take a closer look at this, I think this could be something that would be very effective on small game and possibly smaller varmints and predators. Number two was the Veloster, heavy but with some velocity behind it. I think that had a really good cavity. We're looking at over the top. This is the track we're following. That's the remnants of the cavity. That's permanent. Following on this track, and by the way, there were some air bubbles in the block. I just chose to go ahead and use the block in spite of that. So this carried on here. And by the way, I'll take all these out in just a minute and give you a closer look. But that's coming in at about 13 and a half inches. I think that would be a really good choice for hunting small game with the 22 long rifle. Third shot was the 36 grain mini mag hollow point. On my first attempt, this is actually about three quarters of an inch below the top of the block. Traveled along this line and exited the block at about 10 and a half inches. So that's somewhere in the backyard. On the second attempt, much better result. This is the track we're following. Not a bad stretch cavity, but I don't think it was near as good as the Veloster or the Segmented for that matter. And this ended up at approximately 11 inches. So that could also be a pretty good choice for hunting small game. And finally, the 40 grain solid, which coincidentally for a non-expanding bullet, left the most interesting, or one of the most interesting, stretch cavities. That's running from the 3 inch to 8 inch mark that's on the side and then you probably saw and heard the bullet 
exiting the back of the block, hit the water jug, and I thought it was gone, but it was not. After it hit the water jug, it bounced over to the side of the table on the back side of the block, and there it is. We'll take a closer look at that and the others in just a moment. Here's an over-the-top view of that stretch cavity, and top to bottom, that is approximately two inches wide, and then again running from the three inch to the eight inch mark on the 40 grain solid. Let's make one last sweep across each one of these. First, the segmented hollow point at 32 grains. I recovered four fragments from the block. Close up of that, and the retained weight combined of those four fragments. Next, the 40 grain veloster. This one pretty much just flattened out, and I'll give you the overall diameter of that one. We do have a mushroom over here, the 36 grain mini mag, if I can get that into focus. And then you see the diameter. And finally, we already had a glimpse of this, but the 40 grain solid, which is pretty much intact. So there you have it, four different options, CCI, 22 long rifle. The 22 can be quite versatile. Hope this was helpful for you and thanks for watching.